Action Aid has revealed the devastating impact of the conflict on Palestinian women and girls. Riham Jafari from Action Aid Palestine joined me earlier from the West Bank. Yes, this report uh, is uh, very important, shedding the lights on the uh, horrifying and terrible condition that women of Gaza and West Bank passed through during uh, the past 12 months. Women are not only suffering from being killed or being injured in uh, with Israeli relentless uh, air, air strikes and bombing they are at risk of uh, all the time they are displaced from a uh, place to place this displacement uh, leave them in a state of uh, tension anxiety fear worry about their future about their family about their children women in gaza are living in overcrowded shelter with uh, many people in the tents they put them at the risk of gender based violence and forced marriage the collapse of health system in gaza leave a pregnant women and other women without adequate and sufficient medical care if they are lucky and could reach hospitals they uh, might be exposed to cesarean sections without anesthesia uh, without regular medical check without sufficient food without nutritious food uh, without clear water a lack of humanitarian aid, lack of fuel, a cut of electricity, leave women in a, a very dire condition. They are the least and last uh, people who eat to make sure fa their families they are they are fed. I was very struck um, in the report about the, the the psychological toll on women when they are carrying, as you say, so many additional caring responsibilities, the responsibility to go and get food and water, but also just to to be the linchpin for families. Is, is that what you're seeing also on the West Bank as well? In the West Bank, it, it, the suffering might be less, but they are still suffering from a uh, raiding. They are suffering uh, for also the excessive use of force in their neighborhoods for the classification of their lands. Many women who have lands will be unable to reach their lands and pick their olives, which they are waiting for the whole year. Because it, you, you know that olive picking is the main economic uh, agriculture crops for Palestinian families in the West Bank. Uh, the leadership of women is also something that you wanted to highlight because it is women who are stepping up, who are becoming leaders in the community, who are speaking about the human rights abuses and are showing immense resilience through him. In this world, they showed a huge, uh, a huge leadership. Uh, they played a crucial uh, leadership roles in serving their communities, in serving women, in mobilizing fund, in uh, in the organizing organizing aid and distributing aid to a uh, marginalized woman and support other women. Despite all the challenges they have, uh, they try to serve women by uh, providing psychosocial support, by reaching marginalized women. By by talking to them, to women, despite of the lack of safe spaces due to the uh, destruction of offices and locations and the places and buildings of those uh, organizations, especially in Gaza. One of our leaders, uh, Sahar, who is leading uh, a, a women organization in Gaza, it worked alone with her team to establish a, a camp for displacement people, for family displaced and women in Gaza. Imagine a where she could use all her relation, relations and her work and her connections to get a, a piece of land to set tents for women, for displaced women in Gaza, and to mobilize funds and to uh, try to get aids to distribute and food to those women. And, uh, and now this camp is considered a good example on the success of women leadership during a crisis. Riham Jafari, thank you very much for speaking to us this morning about this very important report and we hope you stay, stay safe uh, in the West Bank. Thank you very much. Thank you and thanks again for having us. Thank you.